Today, we're gonna break down how to climb sketchy 512 trad in Yosemite. In all my videos, people wanna see gear and strategy for harder climbs. Here you go, beta breakdown. I would certainly recommend staying closer to the wall here so you don't end up like us, bushwhacking. Oh yeah. This is so clearly the path. Where I'm from, this is a trail. <laughs> Lifeline is a really thin, really good looking crack. Bit of a traverse at halfway. First trad climb in four months, so should be exciting. When I'm gearing up for a climb, especially one that's hard for me and thin, I always look at Mountain Project or a guidebook for an idea of what to bring. Mountain Project says you want one number two doubles from 0.5 to black alien, extra in green and blue alien, along with a single set of large offset nuts and a set of brass offset nuts. I honestly don't know alien sizes, so I'm guessing that's about 0 0.2, 0 0.3. What am I bringing on the climb? Number two. I'm also bringing number one because it looks like there's another pod up there that's a little smaller. Going down, I have doubles in 0.5, doubles in 0.4, doubles in 0.3, doubles in 0.2. I believe that blue and green alien are about the size of black totems, so I got two black totems as well. And then star of the show, the nuts. Smaller of the large offsets and then the larger of the small offsets. The small offsets are all smaller than my pinky. The large offsets are from my pinky to middle finger. About 10 to 12 alpine or quick draws. And we're ready to clip or whip. So while it looks close, the ground is actually 15 feet below me right now. So you want the first couple pieces to be bob. All right, clip. Number two looks really good. I brought the number one, but I know it's not going anywhere above me. And might as well ditch this one while I can. And reduce the weight. I'm hoping to get some cams in there, but it looks like it might be just nuts for a while. Moving up on just tiny feet, and I'm hoping to fit something in this pin scar. Unfortunately, black totem doesn't fit, so. Start with the first of the brassies. The largest brassie is smaller than my pinky. Not really looking to whip on that. I might as well bring up that point four and really back it up because it looks like this is going to be a crux sequence. That's a good nut, but you'd be pulling out on it, not down. I'm hoping I'll be able to get a lie back or maybe a sloppy hand jam in here. Hopefully some finger locks open up. Yeah, good. Yeah, foot up, come on. Just standing on the smallest feet, hoping they don't slip. I finally get a Decent nice, slopey dude. hand okay, jam in there. Yeah, good. And find a decent pinky lock. And immediately I'm thinking, well, I think a piece of gear will go there. So I get out my little nuts. And I place my second largest brassy. But this one nice. seats in there and it is... It's a bomber. Bomber. comes this exciting sequence moving above a couple pieces of small gear and get a jug flake. Yeah, there you go. Good. Nice dog. Nice dog. That was exciting. 
I look left and immediately realize I need to pull some of these weeds out in order to get some gear in. Try a nut, it doesn't fit. And then Jake reminds me that I've got a nut tool on clutch. I excavated a couple pretty decent placements. This is definitely the most gardening I've ever done on a climb. More small nuts. Got two green brassies B to B. With these, decent amount of space between my last ones, so back it up with another okay, really tiny placement at a point one, which I'm not particularly psyched on. And I'm thinking there's a crux move higher up, so if I can get ideally one really good piece or two okay pieces in, then should be ready to tackle that. This piece is not great. I thought that the nut might even pull out as I'm yarding on it, so I have Brittany watch me. Keep me kind of tight here. It doesn't, and I can't get it out, so I figure I might as well clip it. Oh, these nuts are exciting as <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to get something above four micro placements back to back to back to back to back. Still not really psyched on climbing super high above those two. I'm on the lookout for one more decent piece. The nut tool is back out and extremely useful as I excavated a quite exciting blue totem placement. It's okay there, but sometimes cams are best flipped around so that the lobes align a little better. I found a good edge on this side, and so stuck it in there and felt good enough to bust some crux moves above it. I'm just, I'm going for it. I see there's some decent side pulls, kind of committing, you have to get high up on your feet. I'm feeling pretty good here. And then I just grab a tree in the jug and immediately alarms go off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bullshit. I literally did the move. A smart person would pull up, do the move again, and then lower to the ground, but I was pissed and I never claimed to be smart. So there's, I guess, my disclaimer as well. After falling, I have three options. Pull all the gear and lead from the ground. This is the proudest option, but most difficult as I didn't have very many good pieces to lower off of. Two, lower down, pull the rope and lead the first half pre-place, second half placing my gear. Third, pull on the rope, just keep climbing. I would consider that a brown point, AKA doesn't mean shit. So that one's out. I did option two following my ethics for considering it ascend. Heading back up, clipping gear as I go. Get into the crux sequence. This time I know that the finished jug has a bush growing out of it, and therefore I'm gonna take a little bit more time, focus on my feet, grab to the left side of it instead of grabbing directly on top of it. That's all the difference. Get to the halfway ledge. Really didn't want to take another whipper on that blue totem. <laughs> Looking up at the next crack, it looks super sweet. Thin, so I place a nice 0.5 berry going. in a constriction almost like a nut, considering my last one is 15 feet down and to the right. Want to feel really good about that 0.5, and I do. I sneak in a slightly undercammed black totem, but it's in a constriction, so again, feel pretty good about that one. Moving up the finger crack and get to a jug. 
Don't worry, there's a really good nut placement. I can see the crack thins out a bunch with no holds outside of it. Who said pistol squat? Sneak in a really nice black totem, ready to pull the last couple moves, which are honestly some of the hardest on the route. I can stare the chains in the face, but on kind of slopey finger locks. Get up into good enough position, clip, and call it a send. Oh. Holy shit. All right, take on. Back down from Lifeline. Super sick route. Ten second go. Not too shabby. We'll have it. Maybe the most nuts I've ever placed on a route. What do you consider a send? Hope you enjoyed this beta breakdown. Let me know what you want to see on the next episode in the comments below.